Hello, I'm Deidre and thanks for joining me for E-Prime. Barracks Entertainment over the weekend hosted its gala event for the 2017 production Was Sweet Nanny Goat. The play focuses on the theme of teenage pregnancy but proved to be far from the typical story, incorporating comedy and drama, making it relatable to youths today. Fabian Barracks writer and director spoke about the project. It was amazing. I'm very impressed. Jamaica came out and supported. I mean, all the promotion really paid off. And I'm happy that people really buy into the message. Teenage pregnancy, we need to reach out to the youths and know that, you know, it's not the time. Hold on, hold off. Abstinence makes sense. It's hard work, but it takes a lot of research. And it means mingling with the young people. I'll take the coaster bus and I'll be on the bus with them. I'll hear the conversations. I'll hear the music. And as you realize, dancehall music is a very important part of this play. So the music for me was important to get the message out. Because the songs the artists are really producing, you know, it really inspires me in my writing as well. But in the research, I really interviewed a number of teenage mothers. And I found that it's a real story. And I wanted to portray that just on stage. A real, real Jamaican story. Every year, Barks Entertainment um, addresses a youth issue. This year, I don't know if you know it, it's, it's becoming alarming. The, the rates are 18%. St. Thomas, Clarendon are some of the parishes that are overwhelmingly high. And we need to do something as both producers of theatre to reach out to the youth to know that, you know, we need to put a stop to this. Wait, hold on. The play was Sweet Nandy Goat is geared towards schools and young people. It continues through to this Thursday at Phoenix Theatre. Kabaka Pyramid over the weekend released his first single, Can't Breathe, from his highly anticipated album titled Contraband. The single, written by Kabaka and produced by Damon Marley, was inspired by Lauren Hill while paying honor to Fattis Burrell of Exterminator. The single, Can't Breathe, is already set to be one of Kabaka's greatest pieces of lyrical content to date. In a release, his camp says during a period where society is so superficially driven, it takes mental strength to deliver the potent lyrical message which Kabaka delivered in Can't Breathe. Many fans of reggae are anxiously awaiting the album following the breakout EP's Rebel Music and Lead the Way. Bill Cosby's trial began today. The actor went on trial for sexual assault charges. The jury is said to consist of seven men and five women. Two members are of African-American descent. Prosecutors in the Bill Cosby indecent assault trial this morning claimed the 79-year-old actor knew exactly what he was doing when he drugged and assaulted Andrea Constant in 2004, while the defense went after Constant and another Cosby accuser's credibility. The only accuser eligible to testify says the TV star drugged and assaulted her in 1996 at a Los Angeles hotel. Cosby has suggested that the accusations against him may be racially motivated. The comedian could get 10 years if convicted. Eprime will keep you up to date as the trial continues. That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm Deidran.